So Organogram, uh, leading licensed producer in Canada, we were one of the first group of 13 companies licensed in the medical program back in 2014. Uh, we started out as a TSX venture traded company and earlier this year graduated to the TSX. Uh, so we're traded both on the TSX and the NASDAQ under the OGI symbol. Certainly one of the biggest advantages we've had in Canada as a venture and now a TSX listed company is the ability to attract investors, certainly to bring capital into the company and certainly um, having that profile as a Canadian company listed on the venture exchange now the TSX uh, has really kind of expanded our footprint. Really happy to be participating in this event here in London, and you know it has brought in a lot of institutions, some of whom we've met at other uh, kind of meetings or one-to-one -one marketing, but others that this is the first time we've seen them at a conference. And having you know the TSX as well as BMO kind of jointly sponsor this event um, attracts a different level of investor. You know, where we started from to where we've gotten to is incredible, but I still think it's early in terms of, you know, what happens next. There's a lot of investment by companies like ourselves in innovation and in R&D and bringing kind of unique products to market in the future, and that's going to be the next evolution of what the cannabis space looks like. You know, it's been interesting. We saw a lot of companies struggle with cultivation and then downstream processing and getting product to market. So it was one of the areas where we as a company um, haven't faced those same hurdles. I think we did a much better job than many of our peers in terms of preparing to you know, meet the demands and having automated systems in place for packaging and um, getting product out to market. Our focus going forward is really, you know, so as Canadian companies, we are doing things at a scale that no one in the world is doing, whether or not that's cultivation or it's processing and packaging. But in the future, you know, as I said earlier, it really is about innovation, right? What, what unique innovative products are you going to bring to market? How do you change the cannabis experience? For example, we've worked on a, a dry powder that can be added to beverages that's low molecular weight, fast acting. So consumers can now choose the beverage of their choice, take that powder, add it to that beverage, and know within the first five, 10 minutes what the effect's going to be, that's a game changer in terms of the marketplace. We're very focused on other markets outside of Canada. We've, uh, we've got investments in a German company called Alpha Cannabis, um, which is currently distributing synthetic CBD to the German market. Uh, we've got investment in a Serbian hemp company called Aviana. We've been currently exporting to Australia. But I think the big game changer for us is we're one of only two cannabis companies that are invested in biosynthesis as well. So we have investment in a Canadian company called Hyacinth. Biosynthesis is potentially a disruptive technology that's going to be a game changer for the industry.